Hello everybody, let's check out this T238 Spitfire Tracer unit from two, two, T238.net 238 is uh, a company that seems to be making waves in the airsoft arena right now um, they are producing more and more tracer units and they are also I think they are doing a MOSFET and all kind of stuff right now and um, they are actually doing a splash they have been around uh, for quite some while my really old Springer hand grenade as you see here is also from T238 this is one of the first things, this is the first thing I discovered from them and we are talking years ago, four or five years ago or something like that. Um, if you look back in my YouTube catalog I've actually done a review on this Spring Grenade 2 and these do have a lot of different copies nowadays but this is actually the very first thing I had to do with T238 and that was when I only found them over like AliExpress or uh, Wish and those kind of web pages. But now they have stepped up their game and are doing some really cool shit it seems like. And I have just in cooperation with my sponsor Airsoft Specialisten gotten hold of the Spitfire Tracer unit. Which I will be trying out, and right now it will be a uh, ordinary unboxing of it. Let's see what we have here. First of all, use knives responsibly. Remember, kids, I am a professional idiot. Nice plastic wrapping. and a slide out sleeve which goes directly into the packaging foam insert protection righto <coughs> unit, unit, tracer unit manual Apparently what we get here of course, uh, simple instruction, USB cable, is it USB, I don't think it's USB-C, it doesn't look like it. Oh nice little branded packaging for the hex key and grub screw. The tracer itself and yep, as you see here. It's a mini USB, a micro USB, sorry. So that's very, very standard. So that's the thing they have going for them. You don't probably won't even need this cable because we all have a thousand of these cables at home. But it's good that you get it with that, with the package. This seems like to, oh man. Okay, I accidentally pushed it further down. Oh, look at that big baby. It's a chunky boy. It's not one of the small ones, that's for sure. Fully aluminium. I did not think that, actually. I would think it would be plastic, but it's not. And then the other adapter I accidentally pushed down, so I'll just have to keep on pushing. Okay, now I see. I've been very like a guy. I haven't read the manual yet, but I that was actually very simple to see that regarding which adapter you need, that's what you put on the end that you screw on to your gun. 
together with the grub screw. So that goes in here, or that one goes in here. Yep. Let's see. Let's take out the little things. Oh, that's the tiny one. I'll, I'll see if I can remember to see what, what size that is. Okay, it wasn't there. It felt like it had a grub screw in it, but no, that was just my imagination. So I guess I'm doing this the the very manly way, not reading any instruction, because what's fun with that? I will read them, calm down. Oh, flush, nice. And that's in there. And then the grub screw. In there too. Swishly swash. Easy peasy. Nice. As I said, first impressions. It's one nice piece. I can give you a size example. Hang on to my other three. The Swiss Arms Tracer, which I also have made a um, review on in my channel. This one more or less has broken. I guess it's the battery that has given up. So this gives me no more fun time. But it, it was good as long as it lasted. This was the first really cheap copy of a Tracer I found. But now to T238 are uh, trying to take that place, but hopefully with better quality than this one. Here we have the G&G armament UVT with the um, sunk in screw uh, screw on, so it can fish fit flush on the gun, which I love. And then the X Cortec. XT301 Mark II, which has the protruding screws instead. And this is more or less the uh, normal size for what's called the mini tracers nowadays. I haven't, uh, I don't have the lid on here as you see. And this chunky boy is more like a real tracer tracer. Or I should say more like a suppressor tracer. I have the feeling this this chunky boy is not meant to be hidden. It will be very interesting to see how strong that flashlight of this Spitfire is compared to the Spitfires that is in the size of these tracers. And I can actually do a side-by-side -side comparison of that also a little bit later. But that's it for this second. I will pause now and actually, oh, the horror, read the manual and learn some stuff about this. And then I'll come right back to you guys through the magic of video editing. See you later. So, after further investigation, of course it's not. It's a it's a simple tracer. They all work the same more or less. But as you see here, the battery is 450 milliampere. It has an estimated endurance of 25,000 rounds. As you see here, 50 RPS supported rate of fire max. I won't be able to try that one out, but at least 25,000 rounds on one charge is great. That's how you charge it, very simple. Unscrew the uh, shell and charge it in the port. And the function is very... Remember, it's a Schrott press. 
Shroff Press. Uh, it does not have the move to wake up, which I personally enjoy. I hate those move to wake up uh, tracers. I want my tracers to function when I push the button on and when I push the button off. This does have a um, 20 minutes cooldown uh, power off. So that's good. You can 20 minute timeout, automatic shutdown, low battery, automatic shutdown. So according to them you won't be able to fully drain the battery and that's good since it's a lipo. Fully drained lipos aren't a good thing. Um, but it's very simple. You have the button here on one of the flanges. And it's a, a simple cyclic tracer mode. First click on is gunfire or the spitfire function, the fake flames and tracer mode. And you will see all our LEDs lighting up. I hope the camera can catch that. It's a very, very bright light. The next one is the one I will use mostly, only tracer mode. And then the third click is only gunfire mode, so only fake fire. And then a, another short press to shut down and the light will fade out. And there it's off. And as you see it won't, won't wake up by shaking or moving. It is the button that is the thing. So on both functions, function 2, function 3, and off. Very, very nice and handy, and as you see, durable too, since it's only aluminium. And here is the unscrewing function to get to the charging port, as you see there. For those inclined to doing some work on it, you could else you could uh, make a port. It doesn't feel like you want to do it, but you can. As you see here, also, I hope the camera can catch it. There are lenses in front of the fake Spitfire um, LEDs, so they are protected from. Uh, getting dirty and getting shot at. Very simple little. And it's lightweight too. This this doesn't weigh much. It's the aluminium casing that weighs. <clears throat> so far so good. Really enjoy it. As I said the <laughs> lights are very big and very strong. That's nice. I will show you that soon. And since it's a chunky boy, as I said, compared to the normal mini tracers that's on market, this is one of the ordinary ones. That means you have to think about how you mount this one. For example, my SRU kit. The AAP 001 Ordinary AAP Assassin Pistol is mounted in here. And normally I could mount this on my barrel, but since the kit comes with a fixed size, which are made for the mini size, I of course cannot mount this here now. I would have to do some serious working here to get this one to fit. So that's just a small note. So I will be mounting it on my main AEG, my Norwich SSR 90 
And as you see, oops, it screws on nice and flush all the way in. So this is how I will be trying it out now. And I will now demonstrate the uh, ordinary tracer function and also the Spitfire, see how much it lights up actually. And here I have my very rudimentary target and the gun itself of course. As you see I have it on only tracer right now. Nothing remarkable. Let's switch over to Spitfire and Tracer. The Tracer is now on Spitfire and Tracer function. And as you see a fully lit room. So let's see how, how well this does. Yeah, you can't really see the Spitfire version of it. Oh no, I'm dropping my balls. So let's go dark. And I just realized I have no idea of seeing where I shoot now. Um, that was a predicament, but let's hope I hit the right things. At least anything over there isn't gonna break. Whoa! I made it. Can't really see the... Uh, Spitfire now, can you? You can only see the tracer bullets and you can even see here, look at that. They're pretty strong. So it is a strong tracer at least. Holds the charge. I can't help myself, I have to go full auto. Oh, that's it. That is pretty cool. And I'm now flipping between the uh, functions. Spitfire and U uh, Tracer. Spitfire, oh no, Tracer only, and only Trace, only Spitfire, and off. There we go. That's quite the difference between charged and not charged. Good. En till lägger ni ner. Ja, han går. Helen. Now, the question is, 
Will this tracer fire red bullets? The instruction manual says it can only handle green bullets, so it shouldn't be able to fire red bullets. But let's try it. Nothing. Nope. It cannot handle red bullets. With just the tiniest, tiniest function of the red, if you are able to see it here in the darkness. And I'm out. No. There you have it. The tracer cannot fire red bullets as the manual stated. There we go. So, now you've seen my gameplay of the tracer, uh, Spitfire tracer, and you've seen my first reactions to it. So what are the conclusions of this T238 little Spitfire Tracer function? Well, um, it didn't bother me uh, in the sizing of it as much as I thought it would on my T90. As I said before, I like my guns small, therefore I usually play with the tiny tracer I'll see if I can show you like this instead just a normal mini tracer these are common on the uh, arenas today on the on the airsoft market is the word I'm looking for and this one is a chunky boy which I actually like it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing on the um, P90 as the mini one but it sure isn't ugly I like the um, the shape of it the aesthetics of it I enjoy that I really enjoy the button that decides it's not a shake on off and that kind of stuff. You decide the button. I did notice it was a little bit hard to access the button um, with gloves on. It's easy with uh, just a finger of course. But with gloves on it was kind of fiddly to reach that button. But it still is fully accessible even on the gun. I know some tracers have like this teeny tiny super small button I hope that's visible on the back side so if you go out to play and you realize you have some problem with it when this is mounted on the gun you have a really hard time accessing that button this didn't well except for the uh, part of being a thick glove on it uh, so that's a big plus for it. <clears throat> um, otherwise, it's it's a tracer uh, with Spitfire function. Can't complain much. I um, stop wobbling. One thing I have noticed was that I've already shown you charge it. When I received it, um, I thought it was charged enough. But as you've seen on this side-by-side -side comparison, when I shot it the first time, the Spitfire didn't hardly even register. I saw it with my plain eyes, of course, or my naked eyes. I saw it flash, but the camera couldn't even see me shooting at my target. And then when I had fully charged it, it had a very strong flash, as you've seen. But I discovered something by pure accident. The three little window ports for the uh, LED diodes inside, um, that, those are actually, I didn't think about it before, but it's, it's kind of obvious now that I, I know the problem. When you unscrew this to charge it, you of course have the three diodes naked. <laughs> naked, that's what she said. And then you have the cover here with the three holes in. When you screw this back together, you can't just 
screw it for what you think is tight enough. You have to align the diodes and turn them in two so they actually face out one of the windows. If you don't uh, turn it or tighten it enough or too little, as you see here, hopefully, it disappears out of the window. So be just be aware that you have to look at that when you reassemble it for game game day. And there's no problem with the um, rubber that makes it watertight. You can screw it pretty hard and get it back into a window. There we go. Now it's fully sealed. So this should be able to withstand pretty hard weather conditions. I'm not gonna say it's weather uh, watertight, of course, because there's still a big opening here. But it will not break immediately just because there's a shower of water on it or snow if you play in that. And still the diodes are aligned in the window. So what else do I have to say about this? Well, make sure it's charged and keep the diodes in the window. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, do the side-by-side -side comparison with the, tra uh, the other Spitfire, the um, competitor Spitfires. I hope I can do a follow-up on that and actually do a, a true side-by-side -side comparison because my belief is still that this one will be somewhat stronger than the other ones that's this size that also has three smaller diodes in the front. This isn't one, this is just a pure tracer function. Uh, would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you do like the size and you do like that it's aluminium, uh, <clears throat> why not? If you are looking for a Spitfire tracer version and you are looking to buy one, a uh, big one, why not this one? Uh, I would start, uh, uh, strongly recommend it. Yes, I do like this one. Uh, me, for myself, I won't play that much with the Spitzfire function on. I actually almost always ju just use the... Uh... And I'm back. Sorry about that. A little uh, real life interruption just. Um, would I buy it? Yes. If I'm looking for this size factor. I do like it a lot. Uh, this sells, well, it's up to you to find uh, all, all the different um, web pages that, that sells it. Um, but for my case in Sweden, I got this from my uh, sponsor, Airsoft Specialist. They are mainly Sweden based, but sure, do you find something uh, on his page that you would like to buy outside of Sweden? Just contact him. He is fantastic with finding ways to help the customers. Uh, this one sells for <clears throat> 999 Swedish Krona. Uh, that would be roughly, well, I would say $99, but the Swedish Krona really sucks right now. So I guess it's more like uh, 105 no. There's, there's, that's less, uh, 80, maybe $90 or something like that on his webpage. Great currency exchange there, Roger. Good work. Um, but I have a code. If you want to buy this from uh, my sponsor, Airsoft Specialist, I have a sponsor code, Rainbow10, Rainbow10, and you will have... 10% discount on his webpage with my code. So there you go about that. So to sum it up, did I like this one? Yes, I did. Uh, will I keep using it? Yes, I will. The Spitfire and Tracer function can still function for me on my, um, my light machine gun. That would uh, do a great effect because then I'm not supposed to be hidden 
that I'm supposed to be uh, seen. So yeah, I will continue to use this one and happily. And basically T238 does great things right now. I do like to support them as well. So there you go. That's my uh, <clears throat> review of the T238 Spitfire and Tracer unit. So now it's up to you to see what you want to do without uh, or with that. Keep playing the game, keep being fair, have a nice time. Bye.